The Dinosaur That Pooped a Princess by Tom Fletcher. Once upon a time, Danny was riding his dinosaur steed in search of a princess who longed to be freed. But soon they were lost in fairy tale land, so they asked for directions from Gingerbread Man. Gingerbread Man, oh Gingerbread Man, show us the way. We should go if you can. Gingerbread Man scattered his, scratched his gingerbread head. He thought for a moment, then suddenly said, I cannot remember, my brain's made of dough, but go ask the three little pigs, they might know. Then as they set off down the yellow brick track, Dinosaur ate up that gingerbread snack. They soon came across the three little pigs, rebuilding their houses of brick, straw and twigs. Three little pigs, oh three little pigs, Princess needs help, do you know where she is? The three little pigs made a little pig huddle. But they couldn't agree, they were all in a muddle. She's this way, she's that way, she's down there, said, they said. Why don't you ask Prince Charming instead? But while Danny worked out which road should be taken, the pig smelled like bacon, so don't Dinosaur ate them. They soon found the prince at the Grand Palace Ball. He made everyone laugh, charm the pants off them all. Prince Charming, oh Prince Charming, sir, the princess needs help and we can't find her. He gazed in the mirror that hung on the wall. Then the prince swooshed his hair and announced to them all. The path to the princess tower is scary and if you go forth you'll never be underwary. He wrote down the way they should go on a scroll. Before Dinosaur swallowed that charming prince hole. With Prince Charming's directions, they started their quest, past the troll on the bridge and the rotten orc's nest. Tippy toed past the dragon asleep on its gold. Fooled the witch easy peasy, she was all kinds of old. Tamed the wolf in the wood, swam the sea of quicksand, climbed the beanstalk and high-fived the giant's huge hand. But with Danny so focused on saving his maiden, how was he to know that his noble steed ate them? There it is, there it is, Danny called to his steed. It shan't be long now till the princess is freed. Princess, oh princess, please let down your hair. We've come here to save you, but can't find the stairs. Danny shouted and called, but there came no reply. So he sat on the ground and he started to cry. Just then an idea pinged in Dinosaur's head. Perhaps they could fly up the tower instead. With fairy tale creatures deep down in his gut, its brain made a wish involving its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do, to save the princess it needed to. Poo! Like a giant poo fountain, they shot up the tower, giving fairy tale land a smelly poo shower. It pooped orcs and trolls all over the place, and the prince still looked charming with poop on his face. Dino's bum huffed and gruffed as he popped out the pigs, blowing down their houses of brick, straw and twigs. The giant, the wolf and the sea of quicksand, the dragon, its gold and the gingerbread man. They flew higher and higher with poop-powered thrust and the poop was all sparkly like brown pixie dust. They crashed through the roof in a mighty poo mess.
Then out of the dust came at one angry princess. My bedroom, it used to be pretty and blue, and now it's gooey and dripping with poo. I didn't need saving, my home is this tower. Now I'll put this mess right with my princess girl plow power. She swished with her wand and she clicked her heels too. And then she sang Bibbity Bobbity Poo. Loads of magic appeared from her wand in her hand. And the poop disappeared from fairy tale land. We're sorry, said Dan, for the way we behaved. Now we know not all princesses need to be saved. This story is over, the sun is descending. But wait, there's a twist to this fairy tale ending. Because Dino had nothing better to do, it swallowed the princess and pooped her out too.